Welcome back, everyone. Now, it's the country's most popular plastic surgery, breast enhancement. But in 2018, more Australian women are going back on their decision to increase their bust by undergoing explants. Here's why. I'm wide awake. Australians spend approximately $1 billion on cosmetic procedures every year. And while they're meant to make us look and feel better, for some, breast implants are doing more harm than good. The procedure can kickstart a condition known as silicon implant sickness, leading to chronic fatigue, chronic pain and even hair loss. So, for more on this topic, we're joined by explant patient Sam Bopatrick, who's been on the show a few times now, and surgeon uh, Dr Justin Perrin. Good to see you both. Sam, let's go to you first and tell us about your experience. Yes, yeah, so, look, I'm a bit shy coming on national TV um, saying this, and my friends are like, what are you doing? And um, I'm in a support group where there's 44,000 women, and a lot of them believe that the implants have caused this, this sickness. So you had your implant six years ago? Yeah, in 2012. So what happened? So about a year after that, I started having really severe leg aches and throbs, which, you know, medically could be called fibromyalgia. Mm. Um, my thyroid ended up becoming quite underactive about two years ago. And I'm super fit and healthy generally. Um, last year, I ended up with a fungal infection in my lung with aspergillus pneumonia, which is really quite unusual. And it was at that point I'm going, what's going on? Um, I was doing a business course and the guy said to me, why aren't you, you know, you, you, should, you should be this and that. And I said, oh, I only feel good when I'm on antibiotics. And he goes, wow. you could have SII. And I went, what is that? And that's the first time I looked into it. I didn't know much about it at all. So SII is silicon, silicon implant, implant illness. illness okay. Yeah, which um, Justin will let you know, you know, mm. isn't really medically recognised. But there's a lot of women walking around with implants that feel very unwell and it's since the insertion that they report that their condition came on. Right. Yeah. So, so Dr Justin, many doctors are sceptical of silicon implant sickness. So in your opinion, why do women like Sam you know, feel like they do after receiving the implants? Yeah, so silicon implant or breast implant illness is a, uh, it's controversial because it's a, it's a self-reported cluster of um, problems that uh, can sometimes be attributed to other things. Um, so at present there's no evidence to suggest a diagnosis of silicon and implant illness or breast implant illness, but sometimes it masquerades as other things as a result of having the breast implants themselves. Things like capsular contracture, via ALCL, or even implant rupture itself. So if the, uh, if the implant ruptures, it can set up an inflammatory process in the breast, which can be not only really fatiguing for the body, but it can also cause a lot of pain. Mm. So, all right, Sam, you, you had this two weeks ago? Two weeks ago. How, how are you feeling? Quite good. Dr. Perrin did it, and you know, I'm so he had the Okay, so he doesn't agree but he did it. No, yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> right. a, an, an awesome surgeon. I mean, I trust this man with my life, and he's constructed um, what I you know, am falling in love with. And post op, it was almost instant that I didn't have these things. I never really related to them. I got them because you know, things ended up sagging.